What's up guys? Welcome back to Investing PH. Now today I will share to you guys a sad truth about Philippines and investing. I was really disappointed when I did some research about this. So without a minute to waste, let's get going. Before we start, do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. As a topic of my video, why are there so few Filipino investors? Now before we discuss this, just a quick history first. The Philippine stock market is one of the oldest stock markets in Asia. Established in 1927, it has been in continuous service ever since. So this means our country had an active stock exchange even when other countries in Asia were just starting to boom. Now before I show you our numbers, let's first look at our neighbor countries. Singapore has roughly 33% of their population that participates in the stock market. Malaysia has 18% and Hong Kong has 17%. Let's look at farther countries as well, like the US. 55% of Americans has some form of investments, very high compared to our neighboring countries. So the time for us to unravel our percentage. Just to remind you, we have one of the oldest stock markets in Asia. So with this, the Philippines has less than 1% invested in the stock market. What? Wait, what? Less than 1%, not 1%, but less than. This is so disappointing. You know, when I did research about this, I couldn't believe it. So I need to clarify this thing up. So I look up other news and articles about it. In 2018, total accounts reached 1,089,443, which was higher compared in 2017, which had only 868,810 accounts. With the latest news, they said in 2019, PSE reported a stunning 12.7% growth in total stock market accounts. So let's compute that up. 1,089,443 had 12% growth. That gives us 138,359 more accounts, which is now a total of 1,227,802. So we'll look up Philippines population to compare what our current percentage is. So there are 111,046,913 Filipinos. With this, we get 1.10%. Not bad, so it's not less than 1%. But this is still a bad percentage. The breakdown of investors go as follow. 18 to 29 years old comprise 21.5% of the total stock market account holders. Ages 30 to 44 accounted for 43.1%, while 45 to 59, 21.6%, and 60 above, 13.9%. Majority of these investors are still based in Metro Manila accounting for 62.2% of the total retail stock investors. Other parts in Luzon had 21.5% of investors, while Visayas 8.8% and Mindanao only 4.4%. Imagine, I showed you guys the percentage of our neighbor countries, more than 15%. Heck, the USA has 55% and the Philippines 1%. What is happening? Why is it so low? This really frustrates me. No wonder we are so left behind. Imagine, we have one of the oldest stock market in Asia, and yet we have such puny numbers. Yes, it's really a good news that investors are increasing. But sadly, it's really low. Our country really needs to improve this. We are so prideful, yet we have such low numbers. Really frustrating. Anyway, this is really affected by a lot of things. This is just my point of view. 1. Adults and parents that sets the minds of children that the stock market is like gambling. Oh, you're going to lose your money in the stocks. Don't put your money there. mag ka na lang. Then what happens? A lot only know business as the key to being rich. But it's not the only way. Most Filipino who has the mindset go into business, they don't study it first and strategize how they are going to do it, which leads them to fail. This is same in investing. It's just that you are investing in businesses rather than putting up your own. You will also fail if you don't know what you're doing. Second, peers who failed in investing discourages other people. Ay nalugi ako dyan. Ano yan? Pang mayaman lang yan. This really happens guys. A lot of people discourages other because of their failure. Well, here in my channel, you can see my portfolio is in the negative. But I still encourage people to invest. Because investing is proven if you do it right and you have the right mindset for it, this can really change your life. 
third thing I noticed, news channel doesn't show the stock market. No, they only care about government issues, chicas, and stories of artists. Nang naksiga nito. The heck, instead of putting up news about finance, the only news channel I see that shows news about the stock market is ANC. Have you heard other news channel talking about stocks? No, right? Anyway, fourth, and this has really encouraged me to create my own channel. There are only a handful of investing channels in social medias and YouTube compared to other countries. It's filled with finance channels, stock market channels. Really, almost everything I learned came from other countries' YouTube channel. So if you guys find investing or finance channel here in our country, do subscribe in them. Support them. This way, we can reach a lot of people and maybe influence them to also invest. Investors are really important in driving the growth of the economy. Just imagine, that's why companies go public in the first place. They want to increase their capital, wherein they can use to further expand their business. With their businesses growing, this contributes to the overall growth of our country. More jobs can be made. Maybe, just maybe, salaries can start to increase here. That's not all. With increasing growth of business, more foreign investors would eye our country, increasing more capital to be used for future growth. Investors are really important. So let's increase local investors. As investors, you should really be proud that you are one of the 1% that is investing in the Philippines. Your money is being used for the growth of the economy, not just stack away in a piggy bank. You know, when I started investing, I felt so proud of myself. And investing is like voting for whom company you want to support. So if that company's ideals and care for our country is great, you're also a part of that because you supported them. You own a part of that business. It's so satisfying and really makes me proud of myself that it's not just my job that I'm helping the economy out, but also my money that is invested. Now, investors out there, study more investing. Never stop learning about it. This way, you can encourage more your friends and relatives. You can teach them how to invest or ask them to subscribe to Investing PH. Joking aside, let's spark the change in our country. And for those people who aren't investing or those who lost money in investing, don't discourage other people not to invest. History has proven that the stock market has created a lot of millionaire. It doesn't mean that it didn't work for you. It will also not work for others. Stop discouraging others. With that said, I really hope in the future, the number of investors here in our country would increase and I hope TV shows out there would talk about and promote investing more. It really got me frustrated when I researched about this topic. That's why I couldn't wait to make this video. So I hope you guys like this video. Do comment down below what you think about this topic. I would really love to hear your thoughts about this. So again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so right now. So see you in my next videos.